Hey everyone, my name is Josh. I'm a design engineer here at Niantic, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use world effects with our studio product. So I'm just here on the eighth wall landing page. I'm going to move to our project library where all of our templates and sample projects are. This is a great place to start projects and sort of give you a foundational framework so you don't have to build everything by scratch. We're going to be going to the studio world effects projects here on the second row with a bunch of cacti. So we're going to click on this and clone it into your workspace. I'm going to select our team workspace here, eighth wall team. We're going to name it Tutorial World. And for the license type, you can select anything other than commercial if it's not a commercial project. I like to use educational or demo. So we'll use demo, create. Wait for it to load. So this is how the project will load in our studio interface. You're going to see one lone cacti here in the middle of the screen. And without editing anything in the project, we're just going to hit play here on our simulator. Let me move my face. So we're going to hit, oh, it didn't work. Move it to the center. Um, we're going to click play here to activate our simulator, which lets you test out experiences without having to move away from the computer. So yeah, here we have the uh, cacti slam track to the world. So it's tracking along the sidewalk here. And when you click and tap, it can spawn more cacti um, in the world. Uh, if you want a different clip, you can select a different clip like walking here. We can walk through the cacti. And they're going to stay right where they are. You can even change where you are. So we can select the, I don't know, what about an indoor lounge? And there we go, all your cacti will transfer over. And sometimes they'll reload, but uh, it's just a quick refresh. Cool, so let's say I am sick of the cacti now. Maybe I just don't like cacti. I've had bad experience with them in the past. Let's, let's get rid of that. So I can go here into the hierarchy, delete it, now it's gone. And I have another piano asset here in our asset library and what we can do is to just drag this piano in and it'll appear in your scene and it's you'll see that's below the ground plane so we're gonna drag it up so that it's standing on the ground that looks about right <clears throat> and if I hit play right now the project is gonna break and that's because the uh, tap place functionalities is created using a tap place component that I have on the ground here, tap place. And whenever you change the object in the scene, you have to replace that in the drop down here under entity to spawn. I'm gonna make it piano. And since this piano is a bit bigger than the cacti, I'm gonna make the range of the spawning scale to be a little lower from one to 2.5 instead of from two to four. And we're just gonna build. We're gonna wait for it to build. And then we can click play in the simulator once again. And there we go, we have a piano in the lounge, nice little jazz lounge here. And likewise, if you click and spawn, these pianos will appear. Now, if you think this might look a little weird, it, you're right, it, it, it does look a little weird. Um, but if you can't pinpoint what it is, I can tell you that it's lacking shadows like we did with the cacti. Um, now this is because when I dragged the piano entity in, I didn't add a shadow component. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna select the piano in the scene, add new component, lighting, add our shadow component, and we'll make it cast shadows. And you'll see it cast the shadow in our scene here. We're gonna build and save once more. And this time it should have shadows uh, in the scene. Hit play on our simulator. There we go, now it has a shadow. Um, 
And when we click spawn, the spawn pianos also have shadows. Let's change this to sidewalk, a bit more space. Um, but there we go. It's, uh, it's, it's looking good. And uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, this is just a beginning of what you can do with world effects. Um, you can uh, create your own interactive experiences and track them in front of you. Um, and this is just a really easy way to make these experiences. Um, one last thing to note, uh, if you want to learn how to enable this on a brand new project without this template, you want to just go to the camera, make sure the type is world. Um, if it's on face or 3D, it's not going to work. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.